All right, well, we are looking for the chance that uh, showers increasing into our upcoming holiday weekend. Here's a look at Cloudcroft where things have been uh, rainy on and off throughout the morning hours. You can see some of that rainfall that hit the ground drying up and then another shower comes through and wets things once again. So we'll continue to see showers on and off in the Sacramento Mountains, but most of the action has actually been to the south and west of the Sacramento Mountains. In fact, we're getting a quite a few showers oh, just east of I-25 as you move down towards Socorro. We'll go ahead and zoom in and take a look at some of these showers. You can see Socorro County now starting to see quite a bit of shower activity, some of it moderate to heavy at times. Eastern Sierra County also getting some of that shower activity. And as we pan over toward the Silver City area, we have a few showers just north of town there and also a few spot showers in the southern portions of Hidalgo County. And this is just a sign of things that are going to be coming into the upcoming holiday weekend as we start to get more moisture in across the state. We'll have a better shot of getting some showers and storms going, but it will not be a washout. So that is the good news in the upcoming holiday weekend. 80 degrees currently in the metro of the south southwest wind at 12 miles per hour. Temperatures on the cool side for the western two thirds of the state. We're in the upper 70s from the northern portion of the state down to Santa Fe at the 80 degree mark in Albuquerque into the 60s and 70s down in the southwest where we've seen some of that shower activity. But you get into the eastern part of the state where there's more sunshine and things are heating up. 93 degrees in Tucumcari, 90 in Clayton, and 91 currently in Carlsbad. We spread the picture out and you can see that shower activity associated with the disturbance which is going to be passing through the far western portions of the state. That's going to help keep the southwestern portion of the state going for this afternoon, even some west central sections. The metro could see a spot shower throughout the afternoon hours today. Then tomorrow, things get quiet, at least for a day. We'll have a couple of spot showers out there, but into the weekend, that's when we really start to see that moisture, which has been sitting to our south throughout much of the week, really start to boost up into the state, and we'll get a much better shot of getting more showers and storms going through the upcoming holiday weekend. And the targeted areas will actually be over the higher terrain for some of the heavier rainfall. We'll have to watch some of those burn scars for some flash flooding, but the entire western two-thirds of the state does have a good shot of getting some scattered showers and storms going through Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday as well. Southern Colorado temperatures into the low 80s for this afternoon have a chance of getting a couple of showers and storms, but better chances for the upcoming weekend. Over the northwest, spot storm possible, but better chances for Friday, the weekend, and into your Labor Day as well. Over the southwest, scattered afternoon showers and storms will continue, and they will continue through the weekend as well. And into the beginning of next week, we'll continue with those showers and storms. Over the southeast, spot storm possible, but really not the favorite location to pick up showers and storms through the next several days. Highs will be back into the upper 90s to wrap up the week. Over the northeast, isolated storms possible here, but better chances late in the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Over the northern mountains, you'll have a chance of getting a couple of scattered storms for this afternoon, but better chances for the latter part of the weekend and into early next week. Over the East Mountains, scattered afternoon showers and storms, a possibility for today, only about 20% chance. Same for the Metro. We could see a shower or two pass through, but chances just not looking great. Our chances really start to boost up into Sunday and for your Labor Day as well, with highs back into the mid to upper 80s. And of course, we continue with weather updates throughout the afternoon at KRQE. John, of course, check that out. We've already shared a few images of this morning's beautiful sunrise on there. So get over to Twitter and check that out. Okay. Thank you, John.